Algebra Verbal is a book of algebra tasks that can be used with upper primary school pupils, 9 to 11 year olds say, though many of the tasks will also challenge secondary school students. As such, it could be said to overlap in scope with my earlier book, Algebra Dabra, also published by ATM. The book is written for teachers and others in the maths education community, and I hope it will help us think afresh about what an algebra curriculum might look like. I hope also that teachers will enjoy working through the tasks, and that as they do so, they'll consider which of them to use in the classroom, and how they might adapt them to suit their pupils. The task can readily form the basis of a lesson or sequence of lessons, or a task can simply be used to prompt fresh thinking at some point in a lesson. The tasks in the book are grouped in 20 sets of five related tasks. Following the convention used in the companion book Algebra Dabra, which originated as a blog, we express this as 20 weekly sets of five daily tasks, though these terms should not be taken too literally. You don't have to use the tasks in weekly order. And though the tasks are ordered within each weekly set, you don't have to start with a so-called Monday task if you want to give pupils more of a challenge. In the book, each weekly set begins with an overview page showing thumbnails of the five tasks. Each individual task is then shown on a separate page together with a commentary offering guidance on the task and how it might be used. Early algebra involves a shift from computational to structural thinking. Such a shift need not be intrinsically difficult, though some aspects might be, but if it's unfamiliar to pupils, it may take time to develop this vital habit of mind. One way to look at structure is through representations, as occurs, for example, in week 13, where we use the Cartesian plane to analyse football scores. We can also engage with structure by analysing patterns, these can be specific patterns, as here, or they can be general patterns, as here. And then there is structural arithmetic, where we are not interested merely in the value of an arithmetic expression, but in seeing how we can derive the value from the expression's structure. Alongside the book, with its commentary on each of the 100 tasks, ATM provides a PDF file showing just the tasks themselves, so that they can be projected on a screen in the classroom.